Bitcoin's popularity is rising, and so is its price. But unfortunately, this blessing also brings a bit of a curse. As it becomes more popular and more transactions hit the blockchain, these transactions are starting to lag, taking longer transaction times and for higher transaction fees. A lot of people are wondering what's going on, and a term that is often tossed out is mempool. But what does mempool mean? What does it have to do with Bitcoin? And why does it sound and look like meme pool? In this video, we're going to answer some of those questions as try to get you to understand how a Bitcoin transaction works. But before we get started, I want to remind you to like and subscribe for our video. We have a lot of other great videos, including tutorials and interviews all about Bitcoin. I think you'll like them. To get started, we need to understand how transactions work on the blockchain. Put very simply, whenever a transaction is sent, whenever you want to send Bitcoin from wallet A to wallet B, this transaction needs to be verified on the blockchain. Blockchain is, of course, the decentralized ledger of all of these transactions. A transaction needs to gain confirmations, and these are generally done at 10 minute intervals and are combined with a miner's block miner being someone who is mining for future Bitcoin. They give the confirmation that the transaction can go ahead. And when you reach a certain number of confirmations, generally two or three is the recommended option, then that transaction takes place and the Bitcoin is transferred to wallet B. But ha what happens if these blocks are overloaded, if there's more transactions that can be done in one 10 minute block? There is, of course, a limited number of data in each block. Well, that's where the mempool comes in. Mempool standing for memory pool. A good analogy for this might be boarding for an aircraft. When boarding time is called, everybody jumps up and gets in line to try to board first. Whoever got in line first boards the airplane first, and then second, and third, and so on. But there's also an added element to it. This is where the transaction fees come in. When boarding for an airline, it's not just the first person in front gets to board first. You've also got things like frequent flyer members. You've got first class. You've got credit card holders. They get to jump the queue because they have put more air money into the airline. This is just like the mempool. If you pay a higher transaction fee, you are going to be able to have your transaction go through first because miners get more money out of it. The mempool can also be seen online. Websites such as mempool.space show the mempool and where transactions are within it. So you can search up an individual transaction and see approximately how long it will take. But you might be asking, well, how do I prioritize my transaction? Well, first off, you can, of course, increase your transaction fees. But there are a couple of other ways, including using a SegWit wallet or reshuffling, recycling your entire wallet's Bitcoin back into the wallet itself. Taking a look at the Blockonomics transaction fee calculator and score is a great way to see how your wallet is doing on the blockchain in terms of accepting transactions. A higher transaction score means that your transactions are more likely to jump ahead in the meme pool, even with lower transaction fees. If you're interested in seeing some of these tips, you can check out our video that I have listed down below, and that will be at the end of this video. It goes into how to decrease your tra transaction times while still maintaining a lower transaction fee. But for now, we're reaching the end of this video. The mempool, as I pointed out, is literally just that transaction queue. It's getting ready to board that aircraft, but having frequent flyers, first class passengers board in front of you because they paid more. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope that it's giving you some more information about how Bitcoin works. If you're interested in this video, please again check out the video on how to lower your transaction fees and increase your transaction uh, speed. And uh, please check out our other videos on our YouTube. Thank you for watching.